you everybody now today is a very very extremely windy day so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go down to where the creek is so that I can be blocked off from the uh, the wind because today is a big experimental day uh, I was watching the Food Network a few years ago and uh, there was a show called Hamburger Paradise and uh, they were showing a place up in Connecticut that was called uh, Ted's Famous Steam Cheeseburgers or Ted's Restaurant but he's well known for his uh, steam cheeseburgers so I got to thinking about it and I thought wow you can you can steam hamburger meat so I got to watching and he had a special made device for steaming them and I thought it was pretty cool and so I thought I wonder if I could replicate that out in the woods <laughs> so <clears throat> I built it I built a steamer and uh, never had used it and uh, never tried it uh, so today what I'm gonna do is uh, win lose fail succeed whatever I'm gonna go down there to the creek and I'm gonna set up right by the water and uh, we're going to try to steam some cheeseburgers. <laughs> I hope they work because they're going to be so good if they do. <laughs> but like I say, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm going down to the creek. I'm going to kind of shelter up. There's an area where I can shelter away from the wind. I should do this on a day that isn't so windy, but I am really in the mood today. <laughs> so let's head down to the creek, get a fire going, uh, get things started. And I'll show you everything I've got in my bag. Feeling pretty good about the spot that I chose because you can see the, the, the high banks around here. And as we're following along the creek right here, I'm going to go down there where it's flat. There's some more areas down through here. I'm up pretty high. You can also see over there, it's pretty amazing how that, that tree has grown out over the bank and the, the, the bank has washed out so much that the tree's still standing. Goes to show you how strong the roots are. But we're going to set up right down there. I'm going to pull my backpack off and show you some things and get a fire going as quick as possible. Try to go close to the water, you know, and I think that that high bank right there, because that's going back uphill right there. That's a big hill. It all goes downhill, leads to there, and there's a washed out spot. And I think I'll be protected from the wind. All right, I think I'm pretty happy right here. So let's get this backpack off, and I'm going to show you some of the things that I've got in it. Like I said, this is a totally new design. I don't even know if it's going to work. Some of it's homemade. Some of it's out of uh, thrift store finds. <laughs> so let's take a peek down here at what's in my backpack. I had to bring a tall backpack for this. Right. This is a part of an old uh, shelter that I'd cut out. Some rubber. So I can roll it out, lay it on the ground, and have something to kneel on and set everything on. I got my silky saw for firewood. I got some food in here. I got some pots and pans in here. This is part of my steamer. This is the frame from my steamer. I made a bag for it out of an old pants leg. So <laughs> it's got an extra pouch right here for if you want to put things in it. And I've got my other canteen and I've got this canteen because I'm going to need a lot of water for steaming. And I'm by the creeks so if I have to. I can get some water out of the creek. Alright, so that's it. <clears throat> Let's lay this stuff out and start pulling it out so I can get a fire going. Alright, I moved down just a little ways because the bank was higher here. And it was a little bit better place to set up my grill. And I think it's a little more shielded from the fire. Now, I'm going to tilt you down real quick to see what I'm seeing. Alright, see I've got, I'm on my, my, uh, my tarp here. And I've got, this is part of the steamer. And this is the other part. This is part of my cook kit. i got a cup here. This is part of my food bag. And then this right here is my, um, my uh, two liter water carrier. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold these things up as I'm talking about them. Well, actually, I, I can run this down while I'm pulling this out of the bag. Because I can see what I am doing. Okay, now what this is, is this is part, part of a pants leg. Now, the way I did this is I built this, and it's never been tested. It's brand spanking new. So I pull it out of here. 
And what I have learned is the legs that support this thing, okay, it's got a grill on here, and I probably should have put some more supports for the grill, but I wasn't even sure if this is going to work. But it's got a grill on one side, and it's got a, a big hoop on the other side. Now, this can bend in a backpack, so what I learned to do is to take the legs and tie the legs off to where they're giving it a little more strength in this direction. Now, in the bottom of the bag, I have a few more odds and ends, a little bit of cooking supplies and some leather and some spatulas and things. So I'm just going to leave these in them. I'm not going to need them yet. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to see if I can get this stabbed into the ground right here so that I can put the bowl on it and get the fire going because I've got to get the water heated up. All right, because it's going to take a while to heat the water up to produce steam and I'm a little limited today on time. <laughs> now this is going to be hard to do because this has six legs instead of four because I feel like with the weight of this thing we're going to need it. Now what I'm going to do, let's see, I am going to set this up, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up right in front of me. So let's see, what's my time at? 220. I'm going to turn this around this way lift this up. You can listen to the sounds of the creek while I'm doing this. I don't know if I'm going to get this in shot or not. So let's put this right here in front of me. And what I'm going to do, this is going to be kind of a doozy. you got to work fast. Right here. There you go. Alright, I only lost one leg. That's pretty good. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate it around to get that other leg in. Or what I'll do is I'll let's see what I can do. Once I get the water in there, it'll be better. Now see, this whole ground is muddy right here. It's very extremely muddy. Let's lift this up. All right. All right, now that's good right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clear out over underneath it where the fire's gonna be. Let's see you over here. So that we can get the basis of this the steamer itself let's pull this out now this is all thrift store items okay never before used stuff by me well no the bowl i had all right i have a lid and i don't know what this is but i found this at the thrift store this is what actually gave me the inspiration for this the way it had this around it Here's yet another food bag. I'll talk about that in a minute. Got some butter in there. Ooh, it's still cold. You see, you can get by with uh, not refrigerating things at, at certain times of year, like when it's not real hot yet, like fall and definitely winter. Look at this. I'm, <laughs> All right, now the bowl is gonna go right there. The bowl's a little bent. So there we go. That's what we're going to do now. So that's going to be where the water is going to be for the steamer. And then this over here, this other part over here will be the grill side for doing my grilling. So this goes here, just like that. And this lid is going to go on here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour some water in here. Let's see where I say that. We're going to pour water in here to get this thing boiling and then I'm going to get to and then I'm going to get to uh, talking about while it's heating up I'm going to get to talking about everything else and what I am planning on doing. Okay so this is my bottle carrier where I have the two liters of water. So let's ease back over here fill this jewel up with water. There I go again calling things a jewel. <laughs> Nick got on me on the last video about that. Now, I don't know how much steam I'm going to need, and I don't want to put too much water in here because it'll take so long to make it boil, but I don't want to put too little water in there so that when I run out, I'll add new water, and it'll make it where it'll cool it off. I think that, let's go a little bit more. All right, that's good. Let's stop right there. Okay, so let's do that. Zip this thing back up. Let's put this right here so that it'll be there handy. 
and then let's put this here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear these leaves out from below it and I'm going to start a fire next. I'm going to be environmentally responsible or as I call it, just plain safe. And what you want to do is you want to set up in a creek bed away from the wind where everything is nice and muddy. Because that's what I have done. Everything is muddy here. I've cleared out a lot of leaves, but the leaves themselves are actually kind of dry. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give me up some little twigs here, nice dry twigs. And I think it's funny that the majority of the... Uh, the majority of the, the tree limbs that were down here near the creek were wet and rotten because <clears throat> I guess this creek has uh, overflown so many times. So what we're going to do, get all these here. Alright, we're going to try to get a fire going. Let's see if you can see this. Yeah, I think you can see it right there. Ain't the sound of the water cool? So let's light this off. Hopefully the wind will be down enough that I can light it. See, the wind's blowing really bad. Alright. Put this under here. Lay this here. And then just start piling branches and things on it. Alright, so I'm going to start throwing branches and stuff on here. I'm going to get the fire going. And then when the fire is going real good, then we're going to get back to talking about our uh, what we're planning on doing. A few more sprinkles on there. Get a little bit more wood over here. I think this is going to be the same. See, this is catching on just fine right here. It makes me very happy. So I'm going to get a little bit more wood and pile it on and make sure this jewel is uh, going. There I go again. I called it a jewel. All right, the wind's blowing like crazy. So I'm sitting right here beside it. And I've put a lot of bigger stuff on there. That way it won't quite be flaming up as much. Hopefully all that big stuff there will go down to coals. And I'm not even going to... I don't think I'm going to take that lid off yet, because I don't know. Well, let me let me look at this stuff right here first. Now, the flames are, and the smoke is coming towards me, which is not a good thing. I could really use a fire blanket right now. Let's go around on this other side. The wind tends to be blowing in that direction, so I believe I'm just going to move to the other side. Move to the other side. And the flames followed me there, so I thought, well, I'm not moving over there. So I moved back over here, and it's just, it's ridiculous. Today's not a good day to be doing this. Probably shouldn't have chose today. But I was in the mood. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to film this stuff from a distance. Okay. So let's take a peek inside here one of these bags while I've got you here. Let's move this around. All right, inside this bag right here, what I'm going to do, let's open this up. And I have a pan. Let's open it up here on camera. But I still got you on there. Now, those will die down in a minute, and it'll become just a little bit more manageable. Okay, so let's pull this stuff out of this bag right here. What I have here is a pot and pan set. Now, the beauty of this is, is the way they're tucked together is you put your buns in there and the buns won't uh, get crushed. So we're just gonna set that down on the ground for now. Now, <clears throat> I was at Goodwill in Cartersville, Georgia, and they had a whole big box out front full of binocular cases, 77 cents each. So I grabbed a couple of them because they're neoprene, which is great for uh, carrying food in. All right, so now right here, what I have, this is my hamburger meat, and it is what I've been looking for my entire life that I have finally found a tactical, a tactical food bag. <laughs> uh, my friends uh, Shannon and Dee sent me a whole box of them, so thank you, thank you, thank you. They come in handy. Now I have two hamburger patties right here, 
that I've wrapped in aluminum foil and I prepared them ahead of time with uh, pepper and Himalayan salt. That way I don't have to touch them. I can just put them on the, on the, the fire. So we're going to use this pan here because supposedly it, uh, the way Ted's did his steamed cheeseburgers, he put them on a stainless steel tray. He didn't put them straight on the grill. And then there's a cup here somewhere. This cup here, I'm going to fill up with cheese and I'm going to steam the cheese too. So, let me go over there and I'm going to lift the lid up one time and one time only to see if uh, the water is starting to boil. Woo, yeah, it's starting to boil. Time to put the burgers on. All right, so let's take a peek down here. I see you down here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I'm going to put my hamburger patties here. And it'd be nice if I had a different, you know, it'd be nice if I had a different um, tray. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can get both of these on there. I wonder if I should just do one. Yeah. Let's just do one, then I can cook the other if, the, if it works out. Okay, now... I think in here, no, wait a minute, in here, in the bottom of this thing, and you know, when it's not real hot outside, this actually keeps the stuff pretty cold. I have yet another tactical bag with cheese. All right, I have cheesy Italian, and I have sharp. So let's try the sharp. Now something about the steam is supposed to do something to the cheese. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump the cheese in this bowl right here. which I'm dumping all over the place. I want plenty of cheese. There we go. All right. Okay. Cheese everywhere. So this is what I'm going to set on it. It's going to look just like that. I'm going to steam the meat and steam the cheese. So let's go over there and see if we can get it on the grill. Now, I hate to say it, but from the looks of it, I think I'm going to have to add just a touch more water because that water's boiling away quick. Now, you got to remember the fire. Let me move you over closer. Now, let me cut it off. Now, I don't really want to, but I think I'm going to have to add a little bit more water because this stuff steamed up a lot faster than I thought it would. So while the wind's blowing that way, look at that, it's already... That's enough. Man, it was already steaming everything. <clears throat> I can't believe that. I'm gonna have to pull that off again to show you. Put another log under here. Ah, there we go. Right there. Let's bring you over here where you can look. I gotta figure out which way the wind is blowing. I want you to see this, it's already doing something. And the only reason I'm gonna pull this off is because I just added water. Look, the water's all, it's already turning and the cheese is already melting. So evidently I put the cheese on too early. Man. So I think I'm gonna work on toasting some buns over on this side for now. All right, I got, <clears throat> I got the meat and cheese on there. I hope the cheese don't melt, I swear. I, I may have put it on too early. But like I said, this is the first time I've done this. This is going to be a learning lesson. So what I'm going to do is reach in here and grab me some piece of aluminum here. I mean, <laughs> aluminum leather. See, I'm so frazzled I can't even think. All right, take his pan. Warm that pan up a little bit. And then I'm going to put some butter in there. Just gonna warm it up a little bit. Take this little kit right here and grab me a little butter out. Let's see. A little bit of butter.
Now see, that fire is perfect. It's just the way it needs to be. <clears throat> Not too hot. Roll that around a little bit. Because what I want to do is I want to get my uh, buns to where they're, they're nice and buttery. And then I'm going to toast them up. I got that butter melted on there real nice. I'll throw the buns on them. All right, they're good enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the buns on, smear it around a little bit. And then I'm going to lay them right over here. Give me a nice buttery, toasty finish. Put that over there. All right, now that ought to be enough. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this pan to the side here. Put it on that rock right over there. Because I may use it again. And then when they're toasted up, I'm going to put them in this bowl right here to protect them with a plate over the top. And I keep it kind of close to the fire right there so that that bowl will stay kind of warm. See how these are doing. <clears throat> now they're pretty far away from the fire, so I think it's going to take a minute to toast them. Let me cut you off here and we'll let this cook some. Well, let's see. Let me check out the meat here real quick. It's cooking. <laughs> it is cooking, cooking, cooking. I'll flip it I over think here. I'm adding, I'm adding just a little more cheese to that since it, the level went down. I want plenty of cheese on there. That hamburger looks delicious. And I think I may just flip that hamburger over. I don't know if I have to, but I'm going to. Check on our buns. All right, just a little bit more toast in there, and then I'm going to cook an egg. Because <laughs> I actually like an egg on my burger, so it's going to be a steamed burger with cheese with egg on a toasted bun. What I'm going to do now is I'm taking my uh, my extra uh, meat here. I'm going to put it back in my tactical bag. Because it still feels a little bit cold. And then I'm gonna put it back in this thing. Now what I'm gonna do is in my other bag, I have some eggs. All right, so let's pull the egg out. Now my buns are toasted, okay? Nice and toasted. So what I'm gonna do is I have this extra stainless steel bowl here and I'm gonna put them in here. Ooh, look, it's got a nice brown finish. Just the way I like it. And then I'm gonna put a lid over it. And this whole thing is kind of warm because it was near the fire. So I'm gonna lay it back near the fire. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put a couple more pieces of wood over here so I can get a little bit of heat back over here. All right. Put this pan up here and in my little bag here. Put in just a little touch of olive oil. I think I got a booger out of a tree right there. There we go. All right. Now I have an egg somewhere. Here it is. Probably a little carton of three. I think one egg ought to be enough. Woo! Yep, and I see them are catching on fire. Ah, that wood I caught, on, caught is catching on fire right there. So let's move to this side. Nah, we'll do it from this side. Alright, what I'm going to do now 
crack open this egg. Whoops. <laughs> Did I do that? Look, it's floating down the creek. <laughs> I don't guess it'll hurt anything. <coughs> I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. Alright, there goes that wind again. Let's move this around. I'm trying to make this into like a little patty to where I can set it straight on it. So I'm scooping like this. It obviously needs to be scooped towards this way. It'll cook very slowly, but that'll be okay. Yeah, them flames are blowing that way. I'll let that sit there for a minute. Now those flames are blowing right towards my buns. Now I don't want them to get that hot, so I'm gonna move them away a little bit. Let's move you back over here where you can see. All right, I'm gonna cut you off for a minute, I believe. Let's see while I'm messing around with this egg a little bit. Alright, I'll cut you back on when this thing is fully cooked into a neat little patty. Alright. Here's kind of an overview of what it looks like right here where I'm, um, I'm at. There's a wall of the creek bed. Now a minute ago you could distinguish when the wind was blowing in that direction you could distinguish the smoke from the fire and you could actually see the steam coming out of that uh, black underneath that black lid i don't know if you can see it or now or not right now but you can just barely see the steam coming out of the side right there when you don't see the smoke coming out you see the steam coming out i think my egg is about done so we we'll probably need to move closer and pull it off all right let's take a look here Ooh, i probably goofed off too much over there with the camera I think the egg's overcooked on the bottom. No, it's okay. All right, we'll let it cook a little bit longer. Let's take a peek here at our hamburger patty and cheese. Woo, did you see that steam coming out? <laughs> oh, is there any water left? Yeah, there's water left. Now we're getting down towards, cutting down towards the ends right here. Let's see over here this way a minute. Make sure, I wanna see if our buns are still warm. Oh, yeah, the pan's still hot. The bun's still warm. Woo, doggy! That sounds good to me. Oh, so what we're going to do in a minute, I'll give it another minute on that egg, and then I'm going to put the egg on my bun and put the lid back on it. All right, I feel confident that the, uh, the egg is done. So I'm going to put it on my bun. I don't want to overcook it. Let's see. I can't see the camera. All right. Pull this off. Ah. Close this up. Take this off. We're fixing to put the meat on. Give it a couple more minutes. Okay. Let's see. First off, we'll get a little bit of water. Never mind. I left my canteen over there. I'll get the water in a minute. All right. So I have a multi tool. So what I'm going to do is I got that pan sitting right over there on a rock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lid off. Let's see. Let's take the lid off. Put it over here. Let's just take this whole thing off and hope I don't dump it. Now that's pretty heavy. 
That's pretty heavy. I better not do that. I could see disaster happening. Hmm. Let's do it this way. It's easy down here. Let's take this pan off. I'm going to take the top of my bun. Let's just pull this off. Let's pour some of this cheese on. That cheese ain't going to pour. So let me balance this teeter-totter wise on my leg, which is probably stupid. As I am. Alright, let's pull a little bit of this cheese off. Oh, yeah. Gooey, 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 gooey cheese. Gooey, delicious, yummy cheese. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. All right, I think that's enough cheese. Put that over there. <clears throat> nice, gooey, melted cheese. Hot and gooey. Right. Now, let's ease you back over to the hamburger meat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up. Now I can't see because I'm standing up. Yummy. Steamed hamburger. Alright, now let's cut it a little bit to make sure it's done through and through. Yep. Looks done to me. It's brown through and through. Alright, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take my cheesy bun and I'm going to lay it on top. Turn it upside down. Okay. And then I'm going to take my egg bun flip it over. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Oh yeah, look at it, look at it. Yum, 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 yum. Alright, let me find a decent place to set. And I am going to fill up my water canteen, and we are going to chow down. I've already put some water on the fire over here, because honestly, I'm sick of it. Wait a minute, that ain't the fire. Where's the fire at? There it is. I'm going to show you something. I put water on the fire because I got sick of the ash blowing around everywhere. Now, the remnant of <coughs> when you get done cooking the hamburger, this is what the juices looks like in the pan. Okay? But it's kind of like it's cooking in its own juices in a way. That or maybe as the steam gets caught, it lands in the tray. I'm not real, I'm not real sure. Because like I said, this is new to me. This is, this is the first time that I've ever done this. So let's get a little water. I'm going to sit down right here. Let's see. Put that right there this here put the multi-tool up and we're fixing to chow down on some good food now i've let it rest for a minute because i'm not in the mood to burn my mouth because i know it's hot it's coming right off the steamer all right so let's get over here where you can see me Arg. get my old muddy feet off the mat all right got a pretty good view right here that way you can see me chowing down. Right. I'm going to put my water. All right, let's take another look at it before I destroy it. <clears throat> Lou, look at that cheese. Look at that. Gobs of cheese, egg, meat. Absolutely just fantastic. This is going to be so good. I've been waiting on this. 
I watched that show, that Hamburger Paradise, like two years ago, and I've been waiting on this that long, so let's give it a try. Mmm. Unbelievable. Nothing like a grilled hamburger. Nothing. Nothing like it. Mmm. Now, no mustard, no mayonnaise, no lettuce, no tomato. And the reason I did that is because they say that steamed meat is different. And I wanted to get the full effect of it. And it's just... I, this is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. <clears throat> mm. I would feel myself eating this whole thing. Huh. I think before I break this setup down, I'm going to get the fire back going. I'm going to cook another one. I got everything here. I think I have time. Anyway. <clears throat> Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. If you get a chance, look online for... Well, look on YouTube for Ted's Famous Stained Cheeseburgers. And you'll see how he does them. And then you've seen how I've done them. And you don't have to have his fancy setup like I had. You can make a nice, nice setup. I mean, I'm telling you, yummy goodness, yummy, mm. so good. Didn't I say see you in the next one? <laughs> I'll say it again. <laughs> had fun, hope you had fun. Get out, do things, get out into nature. Windy days are bad, but I made the most of it. <laughs> I shall see you in the next one.